In this video, we're going to show you how to install the downstream O2 sensor on your Toyota RAV4 located underneath your vehicle. With your hood open, go ahead and locate your battery. When you use a 10 millimeter wrench, loosen the ground terminal nut here. Go ahead and grab that terminal, pull it off, and set it aside. Now to access the connector for our O2 sensor, we're on the driver's side kick panel here for our console. And uh, we have our brake pedal, gas pedal. And what we wanna do is pretty much get your hand up underneath and wanna grab that carpet. And literally just pull that carpet right down and back. Maybe work it back underneath that gas pedal to give us a little more room to work. And that exposes right here, our O2 sensor coming through to this connector. So we're gonna start by pressing in on this little tab and separate this here. Like so. Now this rubber grommet itself right here, you're just going to push that through. Just kind of roll it over with your finger and push that underneath. and then feed that harness right through underneath the vehicle. All right, we're done here for now. Let's go underneath the vehicle and remove that sensor from the exhaust. Now underneath the vehicle here, we have our rear O2 sensor. We had pulled that harness out. Now in most cases, you're gonna use a tool like this here. It's a split socket, it's an O2 sensor and it goes over and allows for that wire to stay connected. Your other option is to use a 7 8 or a 22 millimeter wrench on this here. Let's go ahead and loosen this. Now ours loosened up pretty easy. Sometimes you have to apply some heat or some rust penetrant to it. and spin this out. Inspect the threads carefully and make sure that they're not buggered up. Sometimes you might have to run a thread chase through there to clean up the threads. Ours is in good shape. Now the new O tensor has a little bit of anti-seize compound on the threads. When installing this here, you're gonna make sure as you're turning the sensor in that you're spinning the wire harness with it. You don't want this to twist up and break any wires internally. Now I'm going to thread this in as far as I can by hand. Now there is a crush washer on this. When you go to tighten it, you will feel the crush washer crush and then it will stop. So right here you can feel it compressing. You can feel some resistance. And there it is, it just seated. It's not spinning anymore, it's nice and tight. I'm gonna slide our rubber grommet back. Let's feed the connector through to the passenger compartment of the vehicle. Install the rubber grommet here. So basically you're gonna feed that in and it's a, it's a inside and outside seal. So it's actually gonna go in and wrap around the metal itself, creating a nice watertight seal. Push it in and then you can gently pull that out and you'll see and feel that it's seated completely all around. As far as I'm concerned, the outside part of this job is done. Let's go wrap it up on the inside. Now on the inside of the car here, we have our new connector. Simply line that up, push it together. You're gonna feel and hear it snap in. Just tuck that up underneath. And now we can proceed 
to installing our carpet. Tuck that up and under. Now that we have the carpet in place, you want to go ahead and connect the ground terminal on your battery. Clear any check engine light codes that you might have on the dash, take it for a road test, and at that point there, you should be all set. Install your ground terminal. Push that down. Make sure it's good and snug. Give that terminal a pull. It's nice and tight, you're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.